Hello everyone, welcome back. And today we are gonna be talking about Louis Vuitton Cherry Blossom. So exciting. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my Louis Vuitton Cherry Blossom collection. Um, I do not by any means own all of the Cherry Blossom bags. I own quite a few of the bags and SLGs, but I do not own all of them. I'm, I'm not even close to owning all of them. Um, so if you're not familiar with the Louis, Louis Vuitton Cherry Blossom Collection, it was another Takeshi Murakami collaboration um, that came out around 2003. So this collaboration features a couple different canvases actually. You have the traditional canvas, which is what I have here. And that is where you have the traditional Louis Vuitton monogram and the cherry blossom caricatures. This also comes in a pink on pink print where the background is light pink monogram with the same caricatures. There's another version that's like a yellow and red monogram with caricatures and there's a satin version. So there's a little bit of spread in the cherry blossom collection which is why I say I'm nowhere close to owning them all. I only have pieces from the traditional monogram collection. To be honest, those are the pieces that I personally think look the most aesthetically pleasing. Firstly, mostly just because I absolutely adore the contrast between the traditional brown monogram and the cherry blossoms. I really enjoy that contrast. And I think the contrast is just not quite as visible on some of the other variations. For example, one of the big reasons why I don't like the all pink variation that has the light pink background is the light pink canvas is very prone to, I think it's probably glue or sun damage, but it does experience yellow over time and so that really put me off with that variation. I don't really like the kind of yellowy red variation of this collection because I don't know like I don't want to offend anybody but to me it's just not cute. Like the whole point why this collection like appeals in the first place to me at least is it's cute. It's pink, it's whimsical, it's fun and I feel like the yellow red like it's kind of giving McDonald's like it's just not cute to me. Um, the satin variation is the same way. It's kind of like a brownish gray and red. Like, it's just not giving cute, whimsical. Like, it's not giving that. So I think that's the biggest reason why I personally like the traditional brown monogram um, and the floral print. So I'm going to show you guys these pieces in the order that I got them. And I think I'm going to try to remember about how much I paid. So the very first piece I got from the Cherry Blossom Collection was this cherry blossom pouchette accessories probably one of the most common pieces that a lot of folks who have anything that from this collection have is the pouchette accessories this pouchette accessories is so adorable i purchased it um from a friend at the time and I paid only $4.25 for it which is really really good for this piece and as you can see it's in very good condition. Now things to know about this collection that are important. Um, I think one of the primary things is it is very hard to find these pieces in good condition because the cherry blossoms on here just like with the multicolor they are silk screen printed which means a lot of the pieces are you know 20 years old now and a lot of them have rubbing on the silk screening so if you find one in good condition it's pretty hard to come by I managed to find all of mine in really good condition and you know a lot of times good condition can mean a big price um, you can find them for cheap but they're usually gonna look terrible um, so the other thing to know about the Cherry Blossom collection is placement. Um, this collection honestly probably has some of the most variation out of all the Louis Vuitton limited editions because even the ch even the cherry collection the cherries are still all very uniformed multicolor people can have different placements but the color pattern is still generally the same um one of the things that I think a lot of people don't know or they just kind of don't notice that really drew me to the cherry blossom collection is the variation on these is huge um you can look at a number of 
of you know pouchettes or bags or clays and they're all gonna have a different variation whether that's they have more of the small flowers more larger flowers how they're placed how they're cut off so there is a variation factor to look at with this particular collection and that does play a pretty solid role in their resale value if you have one for example where like it doesn't have very many of the cherry blossom caricatures in a prominent place it's not going to resell as well as ones that have you know very well placed um cherry blossoms so like i said this one was my first one and I'm not like super crazy about the placement on this one. This was before I even realized that, but I don't mind it because the placement is not terrible. I have, you know, the one full guy here and then I have some partial guys and I have lots of little flowers. So it's not terrible. And the back has a very nice placement, lots of medium and small flowers and petals. So this one has a very nice placement and this pouchette has a bow it's so cute now don't start me to lying okay please don't start me to lying because you know i ha i know a, no a lot of knowledge about louis vuitton but sometimes i forget things but again to my knowledge in this very moment this is the only louis vuitton limited edition collection that has the bow on the front of the pouchette accessories and i think it's the only no okay no 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 no. i just had to double check to take that back um i was gonna say the only one with a studded um strap but the multicolors have a studded strap too so this is the only one however that has a bow and a lot of people would say like well why are you putting so much emphasis on this and it's because you will see a lot of fake pouchettes that have a bow and they are not cherry blossom so as i tell people all the time when so many people ask me like how do you authenticate how do you authenticate well for one the only way you can actually confirm to authenticate is through an authenticator but as you're looking and learning about styles and researching one of the ways that you can do just kind of like a baseline authentication is looking at the pieces if you see a pouchette that is in multicolor and there's a bow on it that tells you what you need to know because the bow is only featured on the pouchette accessories from the cherry blossom collection so absolutely love and adore this piece um it can be carried you know individually i carry it individually a lot um this piece i feel like gained i mean it was always very popular and the girlies really loved it but this is definitely one that i think gained a lot of popularity because they had a um a replica version of it in the movie mean girls and i feel like that was one of the things that kind of made like gen z and millennials really hot after this particular piece was the replica version being featured in mean girls but this is a real one so this is my first part of my cherry blossom collection Boop. the next piece i purchased in my cherry blossom collection was this clay um, I'm not even gonna lie to you I sort of just like got a little addicted where like I got one piece I fell in love and I absolutely wanted to keep collecting so the second piece I brought was this clay and it came all the way from Japan and I to be honest guys I like completely lose it every time I look at it the mini monogram is just so cute like again don't start me to lying, okay? Because sometimes I forget things. But to my knowledge, in this very moment, this is like the only Louis Vuitton SLG that I know of in the traditional monogram canvas that features the mini monogram. And a lot of people would probably be like, well, what's so special about it? What's so special about it? So I'm going to show you. Typically with monogram SLGs, it is like this see how much larger the monogramming is on this piece versus this piece if i pulled out my regular monogram clay it would be the same so this is actually mini monogram and i don't know what it is it just does it for me i just think the mini monogram is so cute and i would pay so much money guys i would pay an ungodly amount of money to have a mini monogram clay instead of the traditional clay but to actually just have one like this you know minus the little blossoms and just have mini monogram and vachetta 
I would pay an arm and a leg for one of those. And, um, you know, because uh, Louis Vuitton likes to spy on content creators and steal their ideas, if in like three years from now they do produce a clay that's mini monogram, um, you know, like this with Vachetta trim, just remember that I said it first. Just remember I said it first. Um, but I absolutely love that about this piece. And that was one of the things that really drew me to this piece. This clay is an amazing condition. I mean, you can even just see like by how the hardware is shining. The hardware is in pristine condition. The canvas is in great shape. There's no stains on the bachetta. I feel like the placement for this particular clay is a knockout. Um, I feel like the clay does not look very good with the larger flowers. I actually sold one like that pretty recently. It was still cute because I don't sell anything that I don't think is cute. It was still cute, but I definitely think like the sort of medium and small caricature look better for this particular piece because it's a small piece and it has the mini monogram. So the sort of medium, small, and then the flower petals. And then I honestly really like how subtle the back is. I love that, that the back is mostly just the miniature brown monogram and very subtle petaling. Again, these are things that like typically, you know, most people just say I want a cherry blossom clay and they don't really think a lot about a lot of this placement stuff but it's it's definitely a big thing to pay attention to and in my opinion it's one of those things that a lot of people don't notice until they buy it like they go out and they spend you know the big money to get their cherry blossom pieces and then after they get them and they spend the money for them then they kind of like look at them and they're like I wanted mine to look like hers. Like I wanted mine to look like the one I saw in this picture. Like why doesn't mine look like the picture? It doesn't look like the picture because there's a ton of variance in the placements and layouts. So again, I started with that with this video. I think that's one of the most important things to remember if this is a collection that you're looking for. The next piece that I purchased was this, the Papillon 26. Um, absolutely love and adore the papillon this is actually my i want to say third papillon i have three papillons um and this one was a pretty penny i brought this one last year and i think i paid like 1100 for it and as i said this is the papillon 26 um this is one i wasn't sure about for a really long time but i managed to find this one in pretty good condition again going back to the placement the placement is darling you have the one side here where it's like there's not a ton going on it's very subtle then you have the other side here where there's just like a lot of smalls and mediums kind of in your face and then you have the front which I think is beautiful and one of the main things that attracted me to this particular bag because there's a lot of the sort of mediums and large and they're spread throughout really really like how the front of the bag looks placement wise um I just think it looks great. I've seen some where like the placement on the front sucks. Um, you don't want that. So this one has a really good placement and I really like it. And I can tell you when I was shopping for this bag, once I was like on to this whole placement thing, there were actually versions of this bag that were cheaper than this one. But I ended up buying this one because I really, really liked this particular placement. So placement is everything with this collection. And the most recent piece that I purchased is this um, Long Wallet International Wallet here. This one also came, I think, from Japan. Um, this one doesn't have a perfect placement. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, the placement isn't horrible, though. It's essentially, what you have going on is I actually do kind of like it because even though it's not perfect, it's pretty symmetrical. And the thing is, I actually do like the fact that because this is a wallet, it doesn't have a ton of flowers because that would just make way for more silkscreen damage with it being a more handled piece. Um, so, you know, you kind of have the medium guy peeking out here, but then you have the matching like large guy peeking out here and you can see there's another guy right here. And so I really like this where I open it. This is what sold me on this one when I actually open the wallet and I have the two like large guys here like waiting for me. I think that's so pretty. 
And so here's the whole wallet laid out. I think the placement is actually really nice for it being a wallet, for it being a particular style that's going to be handled a lot more than a handbag um, directly. I think the placement is very, very nice. Um, again, you can see there isn't a ton going on on the back. So again, lots of kind of free space. Again, we have those super adorable mini um but not a ton going on in the middle um we have the prominent caricatures on the front of the piece which i think is great and we also have another prominent caricature um as the piece is being used functionally this one i think i paid like 600 for um and you know these are a little bit tougher because the slgs are really hard to find in this collection and they're exceptionally hard to find in good condition as you can see this one's in great shape you can find the bags like i wouldn't say easily but you can find them relatively easy um in decent to good shape but it is like nearly impossible to find the slgs in good shape so it's one of those things where like if it's a collection that you're interested in you just need to buy it if you find an slg in good condition because you probably won't find another one anytime soon nonetheless don't want to ramble that's all i have for this video but i really hope you guys enjoyed seeing my cherry blossom collection it is one of my favorite louis vuitton collections it's like i want to say it's underrated but like it's not actually underrated i feel like it definitely gets its props it's just one of those like limited edition collections that the pieces are kind of hard to come by in the modern era so you don't really see them a ton and if you do want to buy them on the resale market they are Nonetheless, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And for more of my Louis Vuitton collection, make sure you stop by the Louis Vuitton Princess on Instagram. And if you'd like to shop my closet, make sure you stop by Shop LV Princess also on Instagram.